Welcome back to Castaways, everybody. It's Proxy. And we've done a prank. And this prank is on our good friend Cthulhu. So, for those of you who don't know, I'm not even sure if he mentioned this, but this weekend he was away for a kind of a meetup. He went to meet up with some of Derp Squad, so Honey and Pack Rat, and I think uh, Dark Fan was there, and there were some other people. And sadly, I couldn't go because I'm at school and whatnot. But yeah, he went and did that, and while he was away, I thought, you know what? What better time than for me, it's a girl, um, for me to do a little prank on him. And I've been wanting to do a prank on him for a while. So if you guys remember his underwater farm just below here, we can actually go pop under and take a look. It's right there. It's really hard to see underwater. That was a bad idea. <laughs> if I come over here, we can see it better. Under here I had left a chest and it said something along the lines of um, here's some coal for you or I heard you needed coal but this is only half of it. So I decided to do a little bit of a prank and it's an oil rig ship that was delivering coal to me and it ended up accidentally crashing into Cthulhu's house and it got tore open. So let's go see what the the cargo holds. So this is our ship, and underneath is all the beautiful, beautiful fuel. So as you can see, there's some fuel spilled out all over the ground. It's pretty bubbly and gross, and this must be where the leak is. We're very, we, we are oil repellent, so we can walk on top of it. <laughs> so this is where the leak was. And this is the oil chamber one, and this is oil chamber two. So as you can see, this one's still nice and intact, so there's nothing wrong with this one. This one's kind of spilling out over there. This over here, so we've got some, oh, there's fuel container two and fuel container one, so lots of fuel there for him. And this is special goods, so I guess these were special things that were supposed to be stored on this cargo ship. So there's some storage cores here, I guess, for stuff to be inside of. Ooh, it looks like this is the main fuel pipe. Pu pipe. That's a that's a tongue twister for whatever reason. This is the main fuel pipe, and it's picking up fuel and bringing it to the outside, inside of the ship up top where all the controls and stuff are. So this is some more mass fuel storage that isn't blocked off because I didn't have any iron left. This was like super expensive. This was this is a big build. Oh, there's a mistake right there. Let us fix that real quick. And let's go to the top of the ship. So yeah, this is the fuel container. Sadly, it did kind of spill out a little bit. Up here, we have the top of the ship. Let's go over to the main deck and check it out. This was really, really fun, and after this little segment of me showing you guys it, I'm going to have like a kind of a speed time lapse thing. Oh no, wait. I probably would have had that in the beginning of this, so this will be after. <laughs> and this is the inside. This is like the control panels up here. We've got some like sonar rating, but they're broken. That's why the, the captain in them left. This is supposed to probably be like a steering. I don't know how these guys drive. I don't know. But we have some signs here. It says, Dear Cthulhu, if you remember, I had given you some coal just a few short weeks ago, and I had said it. I had said it was, oh, it wasn't all of it. I can't even read my own writing. What's wrong with me? Well, sadly, the oil tanker I had ordered to deliver, it crashed. Some fuel has leaked into your ocean, so be careful. It may make you sick. Also, I think you may need to destroy the tanker as the crew jumped off just before it crashed. Rip crew. Hope you enjoy all the fuel. Love, Proxy. So, this is our little prank for him. Guys, it was so much fun to do, but holy cow, it took for freaking ever. I think I spent probably, like, I don't want to make a number and then people be like, oh, I could have built that faster, but... 
I don't know, a good few hours because I had to collect some more stuff, and I, I don't know, this was a long project. It took a full day, pretty much, and then, well, a full day, not a full day, it took probably, I'd say, seven to eight hours just building this, and because I never built it before and whatnot, and yeah, my English is bad. <laughs> But I'll show you where I had all the stuff hid. And this has been hidden here since probably, I don't know, the first, no, probably two weeks ago. I, no, probably a month ago, I started this project and started thinking about it. And uh, yeah, so this is some stuff that I had left over, some extra blocks and whatnot. And these are the blocks that will go here because that. And that was empty. That had a bunch of other stuff in it. And I think I was cooking some like stone and mutton and whatnot. I kept having to like dig down in certain places and try to collect some more stone to just get like certain little accent pieces and whatnot. But yeah, all these uh, iron fences guys took so much iron. I think our next episode after this will probably have to be a caving episode so we can try to get back some of the resources that were used in this prank. But I think it looks good. I am so freaking happy with this. I'm, yeah. I don't think I can explain how much fun this was. And I really, really hope Cthulhu enjoyed it. I'm By the time you see my video, you will have already hopefully seen Cthulhu's. I'm trying to get a picture of this. I'll do that after though. But yeah. Let me know in the comments let, what you guys thought of this prank. Did you like it? Is it, I don't, I don't think I've ever seen someone do a prank like this before. Like, you know, kind of like a oil tanker type thing. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the little bits of time lapse that I did. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.